Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we're at Studa Baker's Pizza. Look right there. Studa Baker's Pizza in Gatesville, Texas. Awesome little small town, very, very beautiful, very quaint. So here we are to do their pizza challenge. It's a seven pound solo pizza challenge. Randy Centel recently just did it and he was the first to actually complete it. You have a one hour time limit to eat the seven pound pizza. Randy's record is about 29 minutes, so just under 30 minutes. So we're going in and see what we can do. If you complete the challenge, you get the pizza for free. Super cool. So let's go on in and see what we can do. I like pizza, it smells delicious. I can smell the pizza out here. So let's do what we can do. Here with my good friend, Miss Reyna, my good friend, Mr. Blaine. I already know what I'm gonna order on my pizza. I'm going to order probably like a quarter of ham, maybe some chicken. Randy got some garlic chicken, it sounded really good. And then some bell peppers for me. I'm not sure what Randy's gonna do, probably vegetables or something. So let's get some protein, let's go eat some pizza. Let's have some fun. All right, everyone, so here I am with the pizzas. It looks very, very delicious. So as I mentioned, I went with a quarter chicken, a quarter ham, half green bell peppers. I love bell peppers. Raina went with spinach and onions. So we're gonna have 60 minutes to eat this thing. Current record, 29 minutes, Randy Santel. Looks delicious. And an interesting fact, the cheese has buffalo milk in it. I've never had buffalo milk cheese, so something I get to enjoy here in Texas. So long's the freedom. Raina? Yes. Ready to eat some pizza? Yes. All right, cool. Yeah. We're just gonna enjoy this. Looks great, but I'll start you just momentarily. One hour time. All right, so we'll get started. Let's say the count of five, four, three, two. Cheers. One. Looks good. That's a good pizza. I love the thin crust. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are at Studebaker's Pizza in Gatesville, Texas. So Gatesville is pretty much in between Austin and Dallas and then just like a little further west. Um, so yeah, really cool spot and we're here doing their 28 inch pizza challenge. So this is a very large diameter pizza challenge to be a solo pizza challenge. Um, total weight was about 7 pounds and it was definitely a big one. But that being said, it was also very, very tasty. So as I mentioned, the cheese actually had buffalo milk in it which was very interesting. And when we were driving the area, um, we saw individuals having like gated, like having zebras. I think they use them for hunting maybe or pets. But anyway, yeah, there was like zebras in the area. And now there's uh, having buffalo milk. Um, so yeah, it was definitely pretty cool. I guess you can say you can expect the unexpected in Texas. We do have a little audience in the back. They're excited. One thing which I do very much appreciate about this challenge is the legitimacy of it. Like everything was weighed out uh, by the restaurant, which is the way it should be. So I have to give them huge applause for that. Uh, Randy Santel just did this pizza challenge the week prior, um, and he did it in about 28 minutes. So that was the record. And Randy mentioned how awesome of an experience it was, and how awesome everybody like the staff were in the pizza challenge. And, Basically, with his recommendation, we absolutely had to go check it out. They were absolutely excellent. Um, so Gatesville is a very uh, small community as well, small town. However, it was very pretty. Um, lots of old uh, buildings there. You know, you could definitely tell there was some history. And if you like kind of a quaint area, this is definitely exactly that. Um, so Reina and I uh, were ready to do some pizza, that's for sure. We actually didn't really eat much pizza on our Texas trip. And as you can see, Raina was even rocking her pizza hoodie, so she was very, very much repping it. Well, whereas I was really just kind of enjoying that American freedom. The staff were also very excellent as well, and uh, same as the patrons um, in the store, like the other customers and even those on the live stream. Uh, everybody's having a great time, very, very supportive and very, very courteous. Just kind of that small town, that Texas hospitality. Uh, it was really cool as they live streamed. Even my mother got to watch, so yes. so. Shout out to my mom, I know she always watches my videos. Um, so thanks mom, I appreciate you, appreciate the support. Um, everybody give a thank you to my mother for giving birth to me down below. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, you, you technically could, but I mean, you know, but at that everybody, I think that's pretty much about it. So I'll let you get the rest of the video, hope you enjoy, and uh, well, let's see if we can get some wins out of this challenge. Try three minutes, Sam. Tastes really good. Cooked perfectly, no complaints. I'm Durana. And they both got some marinara and a dip. Oh. <laughs> Just 
watchers. Uh, I think it's the progress here. It's honestly really, really good, so I'm just shutting up and eating. I know it's good. Less than five minutes in. down the crust. Rain has got a little bit left. We're still less than 14 minutes in. Both of them are just killing it. They want to know where your next challenge is. Austin. Austin? Sorry, they're busy eating. <laughs> <laughs>
That's 14 minutes and 56 seconds for Dylan. Come on, Raina. We need some cheering. Raina, Raina. <laughs> All right, everybody, just finished up the challenge, 1509. Really delicious, very much enjoyed it. Raina's crushing it as well. She only has a few crusts left, kind of six pieces compiled into one, because it is that good. Very much enjoyed it. You put a little bit of garlic butter around the crust, you can definitely taste that, it brings it through. Everything was nicely sauced, just everything was excellent. Buffalo milk and the cheese, that was cool. So Raina's about to finish this. I guess we technically got a new record, not too bad. And uh, so that gets pizza free, super cool, and it was delicious. So let's, oh, and a t-shirt, even better. That can represent Studebakers all over the world. Randy's finishing up, check her out. Only a minute left, that's uh, keep up, girl. Someone said they couldn't finish it in two days. <laughs> Because they can do it less, right? That's what they're trying to say. <laughs> mom says, way to go, Joel. Oh, hey, Mom. Thank you. Nice. Bye, Mom. Go. You have my cereal. About 18 minutes, Rain is killing it, doing great. Let it just down a couple bites. Ready for that banana pudding? Sure. <laughs> I'll take one. You can make them eat them all. Yeah. We're offering dessert, so I mean, I can't turn that Homemade down. Homemade banana pudding. Hey, yeah. it's my favorite. Doing this together. No, I just travel. Travel together. And what's our time? 20.02. 20.02. Just about there. She's doing great. Take it back, though. Take it back, though. Right, it's just about there. So finished up, Rainy just yeah. killed it. She's about 20, 20 minutes, 20 and a half, something like that. So it's about, congratulations, Raina. Super delicious. Apparently they bring us banana pudding for dessert. How can you say no? So super excited. Definitely, if you're ever in Gatesville, Texas area, Studebaker's is an excellent place to come by. Yeah, it's really good pizza. The staff are awesome. The hospitality is great. So until next time, you know what to do. Stay happy, healthy, lovely. That's right. And of course, don't do it. But come, but come here. Alright, here we got the t-shirts for winning. Studebaker's Pizza on the back. Studebaker's and their two locations. And then they gave us each a massive bowl of banana pudding. Homemade banana pudding. And it smells delicious. Pizza. That's very good. Nice and rich and fluffy. Very banana. I like it a lot.